Okay, let's jump in the cab. First, I'm gonna get in the menu and turn off the auto startup engine so we can start it manually using our ignition switch. Okay, let's go over all the controls that I have implemented. First time, let's consider that uh, we are in the first person case uh, outside of any machine, tractor, harvester or whatever. Let's start with the big joystick that uh, usually it's used to control the camera in absolutely any direction like up, down, left, right or whatever diagonal work. Then we have the small joystick that is used for walking. On the big joystick I have three buttons that can be used for switching between different functions and they are actually connected to LB and RB uh, controller buttons. The four buttons here are mapped to the left, up, down and right arrows and as you know left and right are used to switch between vehicles and up and down are used for zoom. The bottom right button is used for camera switch and the joystick again is used for camera direction control. And here we have the retro ignition switch. Here are some big buttons for lights and the beacon lights. And here we have the turn signal switch. Here is a small manual accelerator for low speed maneuvering and it can also be used as a cruise control trigger. The next row of buttons is used for attachment control. Attach, detach, fold, unfold, lower, raise, start, stop or toggle between the attachments. For the moment let's attach the weight on the rear and look for a front loader. After attaching it, I can use the button on the front of the joystick to turn it from a camera control joystick to a tool control joystick. I'll just move away this bail spike and get the pallet for it. Then I'm looking for a pallet to move around.
grab the front loader here and attach this sprayer to see how I can control it. Using this button I can toggle between implements, for instance if I select the weight I can either lower or lift it. If I select the sprayer I can use this button to unfold it. Then I can use the lower or raise button, use the joystick for the fine controls and press the PTO on off button. As I have controlled the sprayer, the buttons to attach, fold, lower, turn on can work for any other implement like seeders, cultivators, balers, etc. I will just park now the tractor and check what other machines are around. Good, here's a harvester. I will start it and attach the header first. Then select the harvester body and unfold it. Then lower and adjust the header, turn it on and start harvesting. This button here it's used to enable or disable the straw swat. Here's my cup holder or cold beer holder as the harvester has one in there. I 
also have a pipe out button in here. Let's check now how the tractor with the trailer works. I have a trailer control area here. There's a button for cover or uncover, one for straps, one to select the unloading side and one to perform the unload. Now I'll go to unload the trailer. Unloading some on the rear and then I will switch to left side let's say. Let's make a short test with the plow as well.
Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I will start a gameplay series on a new map and post plenty of cool videos. If you want to check how I build the simulator, check my other videos. Thanks for watching and stay safe.